Today I'm going to teach you how to make a rear view mirror uh, rosary. I have a sample of one here and you can see that it has one decade. There are 10 total here with the clasp as well as the bottom of the rosary and the crucifix. So when we make this rear view mirror rosary the way we're going to do it um, this time, you can use different materials, but I'm using a number 36 twine. Uh, this is a black nylon number 36 twine purchased at rosarymakingparts.com. They have various colors as well. And we're going to start with two pieces. One will be um, two feet long and one will be three feet long. So starting with the piece that's around two feet long, you're going to take your clasp and you're going to go through, um, you can go through either side, but we'll just start with the hoop side here. And we're going to go through just a little bit like so. And we're going to make a Hail Mary knot, but the knot is going to go around this cord because later this will get cut and burnt. Okay, so the Hail Mary knot is three turns, one, two, three. And you're going to go ahead and finish it off. Now keep in mind that this knot won't be as tight as a regular Hail Mary knot because it has that other cord inside of it and that's okay. But you're going to tighten it in place if you need a refresher on how to make the knots, there are other videos on how to make the Hail Mary knot. You can watch those first, but you're going to get that as tight as you can get it. And you'll see that there's a little hoop here, which you do want to leave a little bit of space in case this opens so they can put it back on. There's a hoop here and then another short end here, which later will get burnt off. When I start with these cords, I do tape both ends, but you'll find as you go on this end, you may not need to tape it, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, and then we're going to do our next Hail Mary knot. Now these Hail Mary knots are they're gonna be spaced around the same as a regular rosary, maybe just a little bit further than a regular rosary because we want it to be able to fit around the rear view mirror. Okay, so you can see there's probably, I don't know what we would say, about a half an inch spacing maybe between the knots. Half an inch to even three quarter inch might be okay. Oftentimes, once these go on the rear view mirror of the car, people do not take them off to pray. They can, but they don't typically don't. Um, so once they're there, they stay in place. And what's nice about this cord is it does not fade in the sun. Some cords do, this one tends to not fade in the sun. Okay, and we're going to make a total of five. So each side will have five until we bring it together for the 10. So I'm making the Hail Mary knots and you'll see now that we have five Hail Mary knots. Now you're going to take your longer cord, your three foot cord, and you're going to go through um, this um, hook here and same thing, just bring it through a little bit like that. And then again, the Hail Mary knot, three turns. And again, those, those um, short ends are going to get cut and burnt later on. I'll show you how to do that. Now, once again here, and especially on this side, because this is the side that has the lo lobster clasp hook. Oh, for parts, I told you where to buy the cord. The lobster clasps, I think I purchased these at Oriental Trading, but you can find them on Etsy for pretty reasonable price. Oftentimes the ones on Etsy do not come with a little jump ring, so you have to buy those separately. Um, the ones from Oriental Trading do come with the jump ring, which is kind of nice, but the quality is not always super consistent with Oriental Trading, so it just depends on how picky you are. It's a little bit of a chance you take with them. And obviously taking advantage from Oriental Trading, make sure you take advantage of their discounts or free shipping or whatever they've got going on. I never like to pay full price from them because they usually have some sort of special if you sign up for their emails. Okay, and again on this side, we're going to do five. Now I'm eyeballing it, but if you have a hard time managing the spacing, you might wanna compare it to the other side to make sure that it is very close, very similar. These knots don't have to be excruciatingly tight. <laughs> I know some people's hands are really strong. They can make their knots really tight, which is, that's nice too, but they don't have to be, but not too loose either. So then you're going to line up your two sides as such, kind of make sure that they look like they belong together like that. If not, if you need to space them out, you can always pull them apart a little bit. And sometimes if the knots look a little loose, you can tighten them up, but make them nice and clean. So once you have your two sides over here, this, instead of just being um, the centerpiece knot, this is actually gonna serve as the Our Father knot too because we don't want the bottom portion to be too long when it hangs in the car. So what we're going to do is, with the two cords, you're going to make a two-turn knot, is what I would call it, okay? Because you're using both cords together, but you're going around twice, which is really gonna make it look like four. That is going to serve as our, our Father to kind of start the bottom portion of the rosary. Being careful when you slide it, leaving a little extra space right there as such. So we know that the top hoop part is done. And then you have a short and a long cord. Ignore the short cord. And on the long cord, you're going to continue with three Hail Mary knots. About the same spacing as up above. 
You don't want this dangly part to be too long, like I said, because it's in the car. You don't want it flip-flopping all over the place. That's number two. Number three, and then on the last Our Father knot, we're going to use it to add our crucifix. And as I have said on my other videos, these crucifixes, I purchased them from a website called streetevangelization.com. They are also a ministry, very nice crucifixes made in Italy. I'd highly recommend that if you're going to buy crucifixes. So now, the last Our Father knot, we're going to only do four turns to match the four turns over here. We did two turns, but it looks like four. So we're going to do four turns over here to make it match instead of the typical five that we do. One, two, three, four. And you can see I'm a little tight on cord. So you might want to be a little generous with your cord. And then we add the crucifix and we go back up. And again, I have other videos on how to do this if you need more practice. And then um, there's the cord that kind of slips in and out and then the one that tightens it. And as you can see, I'm tightening it while I'm holding this other one so it doesn't run away from me. And you want to make sure to tighten this knot and try and keep it you know, up high for spacing. You don't want this knot to be way down here and look wonky. Okay, we're gonna tighten that and bring that all the way up as such. And now we're done, we're gonna do a cut and burn. So on all of our ends here, we're going to go ahead and cut and leave, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch. I love working with the black cord because when you burn it, if it turns more black, nobody can see it. The other colors, you know, if you have a red and it turns black, it doesn't look too attractive. Okay, so we cut all of our ends, take your candle, I highly recommend using a candle because the muscles in your hands will get very tired if you're using a lighter. And we're going to very carefully burn the ends. And remember, it does stay hot. So when you burn it, you wanna get somewhat close. And again, you wanna make it look like a little mushroom where it kind of rounds and turns into a cap because when it dries, that'll act like a stopper and keep it from falling apart. Okay, being very careful not to burn yourself. I've done it too many times. And sometimes when you burn it, it stays on fire, you have to blow it out. So keep an eye on that. Always be careful when you're doing that. You can see it mushroom there. And you want these to be burnt, you know, semi-close to the cord. You don't want them sticking out too far. And then we're gonna go up here and do the last one. And I, okay, here we go. And so here we are. Here's our finished product. So once again, this is a rear view mirror rosary. They fit very nicely on the rear view mirror. And um, you can get the cords in any colors. Um, and you can also do this with the thin cord. Um, it doesn't look quite the same, but it is uh, a possibility as well.